Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Mile High Huddle SI. I am your host, Kim Becker, joined here by publisher Chad Jensen. Chad, the Denver Broncos suffered an embarrassing loss against the Kansas City Chiefs in week seven, in which the offense really struggled to convert any third downs, turn the ball over four times, and really had not much efficiency in their passing game. Head coach Vic Fangio sent a not-so-subtle message to offensive coordinator Pat Shermer. What can we expect to see in the changes with this offense heading into week eight? Drew Locke did absolutely struggle. It was arguably, I should, I mean, I shouldn't even say arguably, it was easily his worst game as a pro. And Fangio did not absolve him of his poor play and his errors and his lack of protecting the football. But what he really focused on was two things: that the passing offense is an 11-man operation. And then he really honed in on the fact that the coaches need to do more. There are things the coaches can do to help Drew Locke. And really, it, it, I think if you boil it down, it starts with running more. You know, first of all, they need to simplify things a little bit for Drew Locke to help him bounce back from this, this rough game. And there are a lot of ways that you can do that schematically. Start condensing the formations a little bit. Stop running so many four wide sets. You know, run more two tight end sets. Uh, start utilizing the flats. Start utilizing, I mean, has Pat Shermer ever heard of a slant? I mean, start utilizing the middle of the field a little bit more. And Stop trying to go for the jugular down after down. And if you're going to put Drew Locke in the shotgun, please don't put him in empty. At least present the plausible threat to the defense that you could maybe run the ball and that they can't just tee off on Drew Locke. There are a lot of little things that that Pat Shermer can do as a coordinator to help put him in a better position to not only succeed on the field, but really bounce back in week eight with another divisional foe coming to town. And also, I mean, just from a coaching perspective and a coaching emphasis perspective, with his position coach, Mike Shula, both Shula and Shermer are considered to be in the NFL QB whisperers of a sort. I mean, they got to help Drew Locke shake this off, get back to basics because his fundamentals, his his footwork, uh, his throwing motion, I mean, everything from the feet up fundamentally, technique-wise, was just off. He had basically reverted in the matter of one game back to the inconsistent Drew Locke that – you know, we saw in his four years at Missouri where he flashed at times, but the inconsistencies, especially technically and with his decision making, is what led teams to let him drop completely out of the first round. And the Broncos, of course, grabbed him in the second. So it really was, from Vic Fangio's perspective, not necessarily absolving Drew Locke, but really emphasizing that it's time for Pat Shermer and Mike Shula to sing for their supper, as it were. Yeah, coming up here mid-season, it's definitely time for this team to turn things around and make some changes. Chad, hopefully we will be able to see that coming up here in week eight. Again, thanks for your time. 